Good morning class. Please stand up and let us pray. Amen. So before you sit, kindly arrange your chairs. So who are the absent in our class? Okay, so all of you are present. Before we proceed to, to our topic, let's have a short activity. This activity is called Four Picks, One Word with a twist because we only have here a three pictures and five words. Okay, so the first learner who will get the answer will have a prize later. So what is in the pictures? Yes, correct. This is the elements of a short story. Very good class. So, our topic for today is connected to the elements of the short story. So let's proceed to the story. So the title of our story is Curious George by H.A. Ray. But before we read the story, let's get to know first the author. So, H.A. Ray. H.A. Ray known as Known as Hans Augusto Ray years back, he was a German-born American illustrator and author. So Hans, a, Hans was born in Hamburg, German Empire on September 16, 1898, and he died on August 26, 1977. So Hans was married in the year of um, 1935. Let's proceed to the characters. So the characters of Curious George are George, the man with the yellow hat, um, the sailors, the firefighters, um, the watchman, and the balloon vendor. So I have here the pictures of... Um, characters so first we have here little George lives in the jungle of Africa next the man with the yellow hat who adopted George and bring him to America next this is these are the sailors who saved George in the Atlantic Ocean. Next, the firefighters who who, um, who arrested George for having inadvertently called in firefighters station. Next, this is the balloon man or the balloon ven bal balloon vendor where George tried to get a balloon but in the end he get the bunch of balloons. And lastly, we have here the watchman who tips um, at the end of the bed and but in the end he pinned down to the wall. So, let's proceed to the settings of the story. So, the settings of the story is in the jungle of Africa, where George lived. 
and next is in the America where George arrived and says goodbye to the sailors. So the summary of the story opens with George, a little orphaned monkey in the jungle of Africa. A man with a yellow hat observes him through his binoculars and decides to bring the monkey home with him. He puts his hat on the ground and hides behind a tree. George, ever curious, comes down from the tree. He puts the hat on, but it is so large that he cannot see, and this gives the man in the yellow hat the chance to capture him and put him in a bag. The man takes George in a rowboat to his cruise ship, where, where he tells George that he is taking him to a zoo in a big city and that he will like it there. He then take he then gives George the run of the ship and tells him not to get into trouble. On deck, George sees some birds, tries to fly and falls overboard. The crew notices that George is missing and spot him in the Atlantic Ocean. They throw him a lifesaver and pull him up aboard. When they arrive in America, George says goodbye to the sailors and is then taken to the man's house where he, where he has a meal, smokes a pipe, and then goes to bed. The next day, after seeing the man make a telephone call to the zoo before leaving, George decided, decides to try the telephone himself until he he inadvertently calls the fire station and sets off a false alarm, false fire alarm. The firefighters who hear the call and the alarm are unaware that it is George. Then they look at a signal screen revealing a map and the location highlights where the telephone call had came from, thinking there is a real fire. The firefighters get into their trucks quickly, but when they rush to the house, all they find is no fire but a monkey, which is George. A thin firefighter caught one arm and the fat one caught the other. They arrest him for the false alarm. They tell George that since he pulled the fire department, they will have to shut him up in a prison where he cannot do any more harm. George wanted to get out, so he climbed up to the window to try the bars. At the moment, a watchman comes in and comes in and climbs on a window on a wooden bed to catch George. The watchman, however, is heavy that the bed tips over and pins him against the wall. Thus, is calling him. This buys George enough time to run out the open door. After escaping, after escaping, he spots a balloon vendor out in the street and tries to grab a balloon but ends up grabbing the entire bunch and gets sent flying off into the air. Down below, the houses and the people look like toy houses and dolls, respectively. George is carried by the breeze until it fades out leaving George on top of a traffic, traffic signal, which mixes up traffic. The man with the yellow hat finds him there, buys all the balloons from the street vendor, and finally takes George to, to his new home at the zoo, where each animal gets get its own balloons. So, the moral of the story is, curiosity comes from a desire to... Find an answer to questions and want to learn more. They need to know the part of life is making mistakes and learning from them. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. So, and the theme of the story is, a, is the theme of the story in Curious George book can be found in Curious George is Struggling in the Water in which George See some birds tries to fly and falls overboard.
So, and the literary device used, in Curious George, the message of Curious George is expressed through a um, number of literary devices such as repetition. So, here are the examples of the literary devices in Curious George. So, in, in repetition, we have um, here, hurry, hurry, catch him, catch him. In alliteration, they use hot, had, head, pick, put, pick, pop. In onomatopoeia, the example of Onomatopoeia is the siren of the um, firefighter's truck. It's ding -a -ling -a -ling. And the last one is personification. Al in personification, allows him to commit deeds that children do or want to do in a safe way and shows these deeds as blunders that usually requires an adult's intercession to set right. So before we proceed to our um, activity, let's have a short review to the story. So who are the characters of Curious George? Yes? Very good. So, the characters of Curious George are George, the man with the yellow hat, the sailors, the firemen, the watchmen, and the balloon man or balloon vendor. And who are the, and who is the author of the story? Very good. So, the author of the story is Hans Augusto Reyers Bach. So let's proceed to your activity. Can you bring one whole sheet of paper? Answer this activity in, in your paper and I'll give you 20 minutes to finish this activity. So let's check your activity. In first direction, answer the following questions. Who is the author of the story? Yes, yes, very good. <clears throat> the author of the story is Hans Augusto Reyers Back. Next, what is the title of the, the author's story? Very good. The title of the author's story is Curious George. The third question, what is the theme of the story? Very good. The theme of the story can be found in Curious George book where George is struggling in the water in which George sees some birds, tries to fly, and um, falls overboard. Next, who are the characters in the story? So the characters in the story are uh, George, the man with the yellow hat, the sailors, the watchman, the firefighters, and um, the balloon man or the balloon vendor. Fifth, what is the moral lesson of the story? So the moral lesson of the story is, yes, very good. The moral lesson is curiosity comes from a desire to find an answer to, to a question and want to learn more. They need to know that, that part of life is making mistakes and learning from them. Second, arrange Curious George according to the story, story elements such as characters, setting, 
plot, and theme. So, who are the characters again? Here is George, the man with the yellow hat, the firefighters, the balloon men, the watchmen, and the sailors. Next, setting. Yes. Very good. So, the settings is in the jungle of Africa and in the America. The plot. First, we have here introduction. In introduction, the story opens with George, a little orphan monkey, in the jungle of Africa. Rising, rising action. Yes. Very good. So, on the deck, George sees some birds, tries to fly, and falls overboard. The crew notices that George is missing and spot him in the Atlantic Ocean. The climax of the story. Yes. Okay, so the climax of the story where George inadvertently calls the fire stations and sets off a false alarm. The firefighters who hear the call and the alarm are unaware that it is George. The falling action. Yes. Okay, very good. So the falling action when George tries to um, when George tries to get a balloon but in the end he grabbed the entire bunch of balloons and lastly and last part of the plot resolution yes okay very good so the resolution is the man with the yellow hat finds him there, buys all the balloons from the street vendor, and finally takes George to his new home, to the zoo, where each animal gets its own balloons. Okay, very good. You, you did a great job, guys. So, <clears throat> before I dismiss you, um, I'll give you assignment. Kindly read the story of The Lion and the Mouse by Aesop's and arrange them according to the story elements such as characters, setting, plot, and theme. Let's check your answers next week. Okay? Goodbye everyone. Thank you and keep safe.